Skopje, I think that's how you pronounce it, here in Macedonia. It's about um, a little bit before 9 in the morning, and I'm headed to the bus station. Actually, it's a little bit before 10 in the morning. Headed to the bus station trying to catch a 11 o'clock bus to go to, uh, I believe it's called Orid. Uh, anyway, it's down south, a little bit west of here, and I'm going to spend a couple of days down there. I understand they have a beautiful old city right on a, a nice lake and it's sort of a must-see place here in Macedonia. So I'm going to go down there, check that out, and then after that continue on with my journey. Having a little bit of a, not a panic attack, but a concern this morning. My ATM card, my wonderful Schwab ATM card seems to be missing. So I fear that I have left it or lost it somewhere. So I've got to check out uh, what's happening with the bank account, log in, probably have to cancel the card, and then have a new card shipped to me. Uh, this particular card, um, they did an update while I was traveling, and they did send me a card uh, a few months ago here in Europe. So I had to wait in Vienna for few days for that card to arrive by um, by FedEx or some sort of international overnight service. So I'll probably have to request a replacement card if I can't find that by the end of today or if I see some sort of strange activity on the card when I log into the account. So anyway, that's uh, sort of the excitement of the morning and uh, just going to make one quick stop here at the bank where I was at the ATM machine a couple of days ago before continuing on to the bus station. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is I found my Schwab card, so I don't have to have it FedExed all the way back over to me here in Europe. The bad news is the bank here that's behind me won't release the cards to me. I can see the card in the guy's hand. I showed them my ID with the passport, and that's not acceptable. Um, they need me to have Schwab Bank in the United States send an email to this address to release the card to me. So I am going to have to make a long distance call or do a live chat with Schwab Bank today to try to get them to send a message to this bank to release the card to me and to not cancel the card that's the most important part but to release the card to me once I have the card back then I can continue traveling so I've got to head back to my hostel that I just checked out of see if they'll let me check back in and then see if they will call to the hostel down in Orid and get them to delay my uh, booking down there by one day so I'll go tomorrow instead of today so today's plan will revolve around bank cards and trying to get my bank card back and probably not traveling I'll just spend another day here and relax I've pretty much seen everything here in the city I want to but uh, just take a relaxing day off and maybe read a book watch a movie, do some work online, something like that. A little bit stressed this morning. That's uh, not common for me. Usually I live a pretty stress-free life. I'm on my third trip now, uh, third time to go to the bank this morning, um, trying to get my ATM card back. Uh, Charles Schwab Bank refuses to send a email directly to a third party, which is the other bank. And the bank here in Macedonia said that the Visa MasterCard policy for their bank is if somebody leaves a card that is returned inside, that they can only release it to the individual 
if the bank of the card sends them an email authorization. So you have two policies that are counter to each other and uh, simply at odds and don't agree. So um, the local bank said they will accept an email from me with a digital copy uh, PDF letter of authorization from Charles Schwab. So that's basically what I've requested and I've sent an email over to them. Uh, now I just have to see if they'll give me my card back. Uh, if not, then I have to destroy the card and have a new card sent to me from the United States. So obviously uh, that's not what I want to have happen. So I'm going back over to the bank and see if they'll accept this authorization letter. Uh, if not, then it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Well, I'm a bit sad and frustrated today. I just came from the bank here. Uh, they are refusing to give me my ATM card back. They are not accepting the uh, letter from Schwab Bank. They say it has to be a direct email from Schwab Bank directly to the email account at this bank in order to release the card. Schwab Bank refuses to send emails directly to any third party. They will only send an email directly to my secure account inside of the Schwab website and then give me a letter that I can send. Anyway, um, short story is that I'm not getting my ATM card back. I have to request for the card to be canceled and for a new card to be shipped to me here in Europe. And that's the only way uh, to handle it at this point. I should mention so that you don't panic that I do have a number of other resources available to me. I have a couple hundred dollars American cash. Uh, probably that much in euros as well. I have two other ATM debit cards that I can use to withdraw cash directly out of bank accounts and four credit cards that I can use and those also have the ability of doing cash advance if I need it. So I do have uh, access to a variety of things that are sort of backup plans in situations like this. So it's it's not really a big deal. It's just frustrating and annoying that I can't get my card back from the bank. So I went to the exchange. I have some cash now, local money, um, no big deal. So I'm able to go get some lunch. A nice restaurant that takes credit cards for lunch and I'm getting their daily special. It's a wonderful <coughs> dish here with meat and some vegetables, or for bread and a beer. It's two dollars for the food. $1.50 for the beer. I had a very good lunch. I'm not sure exactly what it was called, but it was the menu of the day special for lunch. Uh, total cost came out about $4 with everything all together. A little bit more than I originally said. I guess I misunderstood the price on that. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the hostel and take a nap and, uh, and for, sort of figure out my plan from here. Well, it's been a long and difficult day for me. That's all I have for this episode. I uh, apologize if this wasn't the happy, really fun episode, but these are the realities of travel and the realities when you're vlogging and just recording what happens each day. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight and getting up to an awesome day tomorrow. Uh, please remember, savor the moment, be happy, and pursue your passions. See you next episode.